Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be talking about drums. Just kidding, we're not doing that. For the next five minutes, I'll be showing you how to do some of the most common drone shots and what they're good for. Ready? Let's get started. Now this first shot is one you've seen everyone do. A simple pan at height. Aerial pans are great simple shots to illustrate a huge concept, like this shot of White Cloud, Kansas, which experienced historic flooding in the spring of 2018. The pedestal shot is also a classic. This is just slowly descending or rising while focusing on a fixed point with your gimbal. Pedestal shots can be used to show a thing's scale and relationship to the landscape. You'll see these in realtor drone footage all the time. Corkscrew shots combine these two moves. Here, I want to highlight the sky and the amphitheater in one go, so I simply move the analog stick to the right, keeping the pressure steady. Orbits are a bit trickier. Now you're doing a moving corkscrew. For these, it's helpful to have a visual observer to watch your drone while you focus on the camera. A crane shot is what you see a lot of times on TV. It's a good tool to use when you need to set the scene for a story. I think it's good to use as a scene setter to introduce a character or a place. A tripod shot is just that, as if you're using your drone as a tripod. It's useful because drones can go anywhere tripods can't. Here's the flooding again, but with a local landmark that a TV crew wouldn't have been able to reach. This is the shot you see in the Great British Bake Off as they pan to the tent. Basically, you want to keep your drone low but cruising along at speed. This would be a great anticipation shot before a reveal. Reveals are classic shots for drones. You can make them by using the landscape to provide the surprise. Or by manipulating the gimbal. Lastly, flyover shots are great for details. If you want to draw attention to something in the story, this is a great shot to have because nothing beats a view that only a drone can get. And them's the basics. Of course, you can mix this up as you get more experience, but any drone videographer is going to have to know the simple stuff. 